Namaskar, everyone. My name is Shreya Patel, and I'm a member of the Leela Youth Dance Company. I would like to welcome you all to our third classroom concert, where traditional Bethik is performed to live music. Today, we have performers Anishka Bettigiri and Ragya Agarwal, accompanied by musicians Jiyad Lixit and Ravindra Daya, and reciters Vernika Bhatt and Manvi Dadoti. Before we begin today's program, I'd like to encourage you all to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Angeles to stay up to date on our events and follow our journey. I would also like to thank the donors and patrons of the Leela Foundation, the first US-based endowment for Gothic dance and Hindustani classical music. Now, I would like to invite artistic director Rukhini Mehta on the stage to say a few words. Thank you, Shreya. everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, I like to just um, tell the audience members that are here for the first time a little bit about Gutpeg and a little bit about Leela. Um, this is our third classroom concert, and many of you have been here with us throughout the classroom concert, so you're hearing this uh, spiel for the third time. Um, so I apologize for that, but for the newcomers, um, just a little bit about Gutpeg dance, if you're not familiar with it. Gutpeg is one of eight classical dance forms from India. It uh, comes from Northern India. It's the only classical dance form that has elements of both the Hindu and the Islamic cultural and religious traditions. And Gutpeg dance is characterized, as you will see later today, by percussive rhythmic footwork, um, very, very dynamic swift pirouettes, dynamic movement and expressive storytelling. And traditionally, Gatek dance, like all the other Indian classical dance forms, is performed with live music. And as um, the art form has modernized and as diasporic communities have started to perform the art form, it, it's gotten harder and harder to have the music and the dance be together. Um, to give you an example, when I trained, which was not that long ago, just, just you know, 10 years ago, I was trained with music in the classroom all the time. I had musicians in my classroom all the time. So that was an experience that was my norm. It's not necessarily the norm for um, students currently studying gut tech. So these classroom concerts were, are put together to both introduce new audiences to the art form, but also to give our up and coming dancers experience with live music. So your being here today, you really are participating in their learning journey and in their growth journey. Um, and these young dancers who you're seeing today, Pragya and Anushka, along with their peers of the youth company, they have been studying Gatek for about between eight and 10 years. And so they've given a great deal of their life to this art form. They're phenomenally dedicated and passionate about the art form. They give me a lot of hope for the future of Indian classical dance. And, you know, this step for them, your presence here really is, is like a blessing, like an ashrabat that you're giving them. So we're very grateful for you being here. Um, the musicians are also, I just want to say a quick word about the musicians. Um, Chirag Dixit on Sarangi. Sarangi is also, um, some would say, um, a dying instrument. Not a lot of people perform it, although there are some new generation performers. It's rare. And Sarangi is actually the instrument that we originally performed that tech to. Um, so we're very grateful that Chirag is here on Sarangi and Ravi, of course, on Tabla. Tabla is the, you know, it's it's the heartbeat. Um, the, the percussion is the heartbeat of the art form. So his role is going to be really important. And they've been with us throughout these classroom concerts, kind of shepherding the journey of these young up and coming dancers. So we're really, really grateful for them. And without any further delay, I think we're going to continue to the show. Thank you all again. Now, for our main performance, I'd like to welcome onto the stage our musician, Tabla artist Ravindra Deo, and Sarangi artist Jia Dixit, our reciters, Arnika Tut and Mandi Teputi, and our first performer, Sadia
Today I'll be starting off the performance with a piece called Sharpa Shirsha in their Bari, which is about Lord Shiva. And this piece demonstrates how he commands fire and can reawaken the universe with the dumb We're gonna make sure we're <clears throat> Thank <laughs> you. 
have been here for every single concert. And it's really lovely to see how the girls select a program and develop a program that's really unique to their personalities. And uh, the girls, they do a lot of the prep on their own. Although I give them the material, a lot of what they're, the way they develop it, their small job is on their own. So I just wanted to take a minute to say that both of these young ladies love technique and love to push themselves. So they've actually chosen a very, very technically challenging program. It's really amazing to see them push themselves. And it's a big part of uh, my Guruji's training. So he um, never had, you know, he was, his big regret was that he never had any male students and he would always get all of us female students wanting to learn Guthpec and he was determined um, because oftentimes in some of the traditions, the, the, kind of bias was that the male dancers were technically challenging and the female dancers were beautiful. And he was very insistent that his dancers were gonna be both technically challenging and beautiful. So a lot of what you're seeing, this really, really phenomenal technique is um, really a gift that he's given us. And the, the dance, um, it's interesting in Indian classical music and dance because music, um, in general has more support than the dance and the standard of music has sustained in many ways so in tabla in sarod and string instruments in vocal but in gathak because of the particular history of gathak the technical development and the standard is is a little all over the place so um, he really wanted us to make sure that we were upholding a standard and that we were you know, um, again, because oftentimes it was women performing with male tabla artists, he wanted us to hold our own. And so, you know, I just wanted to give them a little bit of a break because they're going into a very harder, harder section and just share that what they're doing here is, is really amazing. And they're working really, really hard. I'm very proud of you guys.
Thank you all. Let's give all of our artists another round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, Ravindra Deo. Chirag Dixon. Chirag Dixon. And last but not least, our performers, Anushka Bethigiri and Sanjana. Thank you all so much for coming. Once again, I would like to encourage you all to consider donating to the Lula Foundation. And to inform you all, we're putting, the youth company is putting on a production on May 11th its first ever full-length production. So please consider following us on Instagram and Facebook at Angeles to get more information. Thank you all for coming and please join us outside for tea and refreshments. Thank <laughs> you.